right guys good afternoon um if you watched my video a couple days ago you will know i took the tire chains off because i was hoping winter would be over and uh usually what happens does happen uh now we are going to get another snowstorm um <laughs> So, uh, I'm just going to let the tire chains off. I'm thinking a lot of this is media hype. Now, this storm that's coming is a little bit different from our other storms. This one's coming up from the south. So, we got a southerly storm blowing north. And uh, they at first, they were calling for one to three inches. And then they were up to three to five. Now, they're up to four to eight. Now, the latest winter weather advisory, they're saying we could get a foot of snow. So, um <laughs> The weather did change here. It's a lot colder than it was yesterday. Yesterday was about 40 something. Now we're down in the low 30s. So I don't know if, if it does snow a foot, it's going to be gone by the weekend because <laughs> there isn't, uh, it's supposed to be pretty warm. So um, I'm thinking this is another uh, knee jerk reaction to uh, the late storms. Usually they don't get all the advisories out and all, they don't get any, everybody worried until the last couple storms, it seems like here in Pennsylvania. Um, it's like a knee-jerk reaction to our uh, wonderful governor that when we did have a bad storm that people were trapped on the interstate for five and six hours at a time uh, they didn't do anything or uh, make any preparations the uh, state was hardly even out plowing snow so the next storm that came along they brought out the National Guard and it was uh, all hands on deck operation and we got like an inch and a half two inches so it's you guys know it's, it's what happens in politics it's all political even uh, cleaning up after a storm so they're really hyping this storm and we're supposed to get a foot of snow and uh, stay off the roads and <laughs> I don't know uh, just another uh, just another drain on uh, Pennsylvania's already uh, draining budget I should say so whatever it is what it is it's all it's like that all across the country but um, want to do a quick video here um, it is kind of a viewer requested video I've had people ask me in the past uh, many times actually um, what I would upgrade to as far as equipment what uh, what would I buy if I could buy anything at all <laughs> if money wasn't an object uh, what what would I uh, change what would I do differently um, so I don't know uh, this will probably be a video where I'm just dreaming I, like I say every farmer out there has their uh, equipment that they would upgrade to if money was no object uh, <laughs> or uh, that they th everybody has their wish list i should say so my wish list is probably going to be a little bit different than some people especially if uh, money's no object which it always is but if it isn't an object you'd think i would buy new but uh, it might surprise a couple people <laughs> so uh, let's get into it here i'll just do a quick rundown of all the equipment and uh, what i would upgrade to if i uh, had a little bit more money in the bank all right, so we're talking upgrades. We are uh, basically going to dream here a little bit. So I have this 1980 International Harvester 986. Um, that's uh, a pretty good powerhouse. It just doesn't have the traction. It's too much engine, not enough weight on the ground. Um, but uh, if I were to upgrade, if money was no object, this tractor would stay here. I would not trade this tractor. I would not sell this tractor. Um, even if you'd uh, wake up one morning and uh, win the Powerball, even though I don't play the Powerball, if you had money in the bank, this would stay. And uh, actually what would be done is I would probably try to uh, fix it up a little bit better than it already is. I mean, it's nice now, but it should have matching rear tires. Um, I'd probably get some wheel weights for it uh, just because it should be weighted down a little bit heavier in the back. Um, not that it's a big issue, it's just bailing, but uh, if you ever use it for tillage, it's just not heavy enough. Um, I would probably look around and see if I could find an 86 series cab. <laughs> Even if I found a cab that was in half decent shape, I might buy a second one just for parts and put the good cab on this one. So I have the full international cab on the tractor. Or that'd be one option. The other option to maybe get the front windshield and do the interior, make it real nice, get it repainted. So yeah, I'd uh, keep this tractor. Um, but if I were to replace this tractor, if I could have anything out there on the market, um, for what I'm doing here, I don't need a Magnum. A 71 or an 89 series it's just not what I need um, size wise if I were gonna 
uh, pick a replacement for a tractor like this and I could buy anything I want. I'd look for a pre-emission um, Case International, maybe like an MX-150, MX-170. You still have the Maxim tractors like the 51 series, 5250, that series. But I would uh, try to get as new of a uh, Maxim tractor as I could um, without uh, going into the emissions or the computer side of things. Um, probably four-wheel drive. Um, and uh, I'd make it try to make it nice new tires all the way around um, But yeah, like an MX 150 or an MX uh, 170 something in that series um, As a replacement for this tractor. So you're talking 2002 2003 era and that would be new enough for me uh, That would be perfect. So <laughs> you're, you're probably talking 60,000 for one that's in nice shape, but um, Not a new one and I wouldn't even consider buying a new one So let's move on all right, if we're still dreaming here, the Farmall 560 would probably stay. Um, I would just try to make it nicer. A um, couple things that I could do on this tractor to make it a little bit nicer. Um, probably get a new uh, or a used, find a nice used front grill here that's dinged up. Uh, get the sheet metal fixed, get a better uh, piece of tin there. Um, Probably new tires on the back again. Probably everything would get new tires. Uh, and I'd probably try to go bigger. Maybe the 16.9 series. I'd try to get fenders. Um, I would try to get that piece of the hood that's been missing. Get the right seat on the tractor. Basically restore it till it's 100% back to how it is. That's what I'm kind of doing now. But it's a slow process. Um, the way money is. So I'd keep it. So what would I buy if I had to replace a 70 horsepower tractor? Um, I would look into a 4230, a Case International 4230. Um, there again, you're talking late 90s. Uh, but if money was no object, I'd try to find one with maybe a thousand hours on, uh, real good tires, real good tin work and paint, um, one that wasn't used or abused. Uh, that would be a replacement maybe for the 560. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't sell this tractor. The 685, same deal. I keep it. I wouldn't sell it. Um, Basically, the only thing it needs is four tires, so I do that. Um, as a replacement, I don't know, maybe like an 880, 884, 885, 895, something like that. Um, there you're talking early 90s. So, like I say, if money's no object, that's kind of as new as I'm willing to go with things. Um, the 395, uh, I probably would keep this also. I'd get it painted. Um, That'd probably be it at this point, just get it painted. Um, as far as a replacement, I'd probably try to find a real nice 674 with the 2250 loader on it, or maybe even a little four wheel drive utility series, like uh, let's say, I don't know, 585 that has the four wheel drive on it, or 685. Um, and again, that's as new as I would go. Um, Farm all C I'd keep. Uh, I'd probably try to get like a 1066 or a 966 just because I want a 66 series. Uh, <laughs> so you see where I'm going with this, guys. I'm not really uh, going to town here. Um, I'd probably buy a brand new baler. Um, I'd go get the... Uh, now, Case IH and New Holland are the same company now. The Case IH square balers, small square balers, are identical to the New Holland. They're just painted different. I'd probably look into a brand new... Uh, Case International, uh, I don't know what the number is, but the, the new ones, uh, and I try to buy it Case International just so all the paint matches. Um, <laughs> I'd probably buy about six brand new hay wagons just be, and get rid of these wooden ones. I'd still, I'd still keep the running gears. I'd basically get rid of the, the wood racks on them. So um, <laughs> probably get a, a Peckway uh, four star tether with hydraulic wings. I'd probably get a Peckway rotary rake. Uh, Sprayer, I'd probably get a brand new uh, crop care sprayer. Um, I'd probably get rid of uh, my old hay equipment then. I'd probably trade that kind of stuff. So, um, so you guys see where I'm going with this. Um, if uh, it was something to upgrade to, um, if I had the money to do a huge upgrade on stuff, we're not talking uh, brand new. We're not talking state of the art. Um, we're not talking technology. If I was going to plant my own corn, if I decided that that's something I wanted to do just because I could, um, I'd probably look for a Kinsey, uh, probably six row Kinsey planter with the inner planters on it. Um, I'd even try to find one that's used. Um, 
As far as a grain drill, I'd probably look into a, a no-till uh, grain drill. Um, probably something fairly fairly new, but still slightly used. Um, <laughs> so what else? Uh, just trying to think here offhand. A combine probably, um, and there again, probably the newest I'd go would be like a uh, 1660 or a uh, 14 or a 1640 or 1660. And uh, need a couple uh, dump trucks, so. <laughs> All right, you, you see where this video is headed, guys. Um, just uh, some of my thoughts on uh, what I'd be looking for if I was going to be upgrading equipment. Um, nothing fancy, nothing state-of-the-art. Probably the fanciest thing. I try to look for a real nice MX 150, 170 with a full cab on it, uh, with the air conditioning, the four-wheel drive, the heat, um, just because it's nice to have a tractor with a cab. But it would only be one tractor. So, and uh, still the newest I'm willing to go would be like 2003, uh, pre-emission uh, with no computers. So that's what it is. I probably wouldn't trade anything. There's nothing here that I'd want to get rid of. Uh, right now, I think the only thing I'm going to be looking to sell is that three-point hitch uh, John Deere hayrake. And uh, <laughs> that's about it. So, all right, guys, uh, just a quick video today in between doing other stuff. I have to uh, run to the store before this storm comes just so we're out of some food. So... <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.